Brian Charles Laro was born in Trinidad on 2nd of May 1969. He is widely acknowledged as one of the greatest batsmen of all time in cricket. Brian Lara is popularly nicknamed as the Prince. Brian was a tenth child in his family of eleven siblings. Lara once said, I am number ten in the family of seven boys and four girls. The first time I played a family cricket game, as you can tell we can field our own team. I had to bat at that exact position number ten. My six older brothers batted before me. And Marlene, Agnes and Kathleen felt that they earned the right to bat before me because they were born before me. My eldest brother climbed a coconut tree and cut a branch and shaped my actual first cricket bat. It was an amazing time in my life, growing up in such a big family. I just loved cricket. Laura studied in Fatima College where he emerged as a promising young player in cricket. He scored 745 runs in the schoolboys league, with an average of 126.16 per innings. At the age of 16 years, he represented West Indies in under-19 cricket in 1985. In 1987 there was the West Indies Youth Championships League. Laro was elected the captain of Trinidad and Tobago in that league. Trinidad and Tobago won the league under the captaincy of Lara. In the finals, Lara scored match-winning 116 runs. Also he scored 498 runs in the league, breaking the record of 480 by Carl Hooper set the previous year. Lara made his OD debut against Pakistan in Karachi on November 9, 1990. Lara scored 11 runs in 20 balls which include two boundaries. One month later Lara made his test debut against Pakistan in Lahore on December 6, 1990. He scored 44 and 5 runs in that match. His international debut was not very eye-catching. He almost have to wait for two years to play his second test match. He played his second test match on 18th of April 1992 against South Africa. Lara scored 17 and 64 runs in that test match and secured his place in the team. Lara scored half centuries in his third and fourth test match, and secured a fourth batting position. In his fifth test match in Jan 1993, he made a match winning 277 runs from 372 balls which include 38 fours, against Australia. Unfortunately, Lara got run out on 277, and missed his triple hundred in that match. Lara named his daughter Sydney, after scoring 277 at Sydney Cricket Ground. One year later on 16th of April 1994, Lara scored 375 runs in 538 balls with 45 fours against England at St John's, West Indies. This was the highest individual score by any batsman in the test match. Previous record holder was Sir Gary Sobers, who scored 365 not out against Pakistan on 1958 at Kingston, West Indies. In 1995, Lara scored 87 and 145, 152 and 20. 179 runs in the three consecutive test match against England. Lara got Man of the Series award for his performance against England, in England. Next high point in the career came in 1999, when Australia took a West Indies for four match series. Lara scoring 546 runs including three centuries and one double hundred. Lara received the Man of the Series for his mighty performance. In 2001, West Indies to a Sri Lanka for playing three test match series. Lara scored 688 runs in three match series, with three centuries and one half century. These extraordinary performances led Mushia Moore Ali Tharan to state that, Lara was the most dangerous batsman he had ever bowled to. In 2004. West Indies won the ICC Champions Trophy in England under his captaincy. In 2003, Matthew Hayden broke Lara's highest individual score record in a test match. 
Hayden scored 380 runs from 437 balls against Zimbabwe in Perth. On April 2004, Lara regained the title by scoring 400 not out against England. Lara scored 400 runs in 582 balls with 43 fours and four massive sixes. In 2006, Lara's team reached to the finals in ICC Champions Trophy, where they lose to Australia. On 10 April 2007 Lara confirmed his retirement from one-day cricket post the 2007 Cricket World Cup. A few days later he announced that he would in fact be retiring from all international cricket after the tournament. Lara played his final international game on 21 April 2007 in a World Cup game against England. He was run out for 18 after a mix-up with Marlon Samuels, England won the game by one wicket. Brian Lara reveals that he was embarrassed by behavior of Viv Richards. He said, My first tour with West Indies was to England in 1991. We were playing a match in Darlington up north. It was a two-day game before a test match. I wasn't playing in the test matches so I was the perpetual water boy during those days. And Viv Richards, on the second day after we batted, said, If anybody wanted to bowl? And I immediately put up my hand. Ambrose and Walsh didn't have any interest. And he ignored me. Finally he looked at me and said, Do you really want to bowl? I said, Yes. I want to bowl. I bowled leg breaks and googlies, and not very well. It took me a couple of overs to get my line and length and, eventually, I bowled about seven overs. Decent overs, didn't get any wickets, but was economical. And I said to him I had enough. And the bowler from the next end bowled the over and Viv threw the ball to me and turned his back. It didn't seem like he got the message. Two overs later, I said I had enough. He threw the ball to me again. My figures at the end of the day, 25 overs, 0 wickets for 130 runs. On that same tour, Sir Viv was given a beautiful Vauxhall Calibro car. And I stood outside the hotel in London and said to him mistakenly, that looks beautiful. I'd love to get behind the steering wheel. He said, go ahead, have fun. He threw the keys to me, he jumped into the passenger seat. Three months later, I knew all the motorways in England. I became his driver. The only strip of road I actually wanted to see during that series was the 22 yards between bat and ball. And I actually didn't get an opportunity to play a test match in that series. Lara also told about the worst moment in the West Indies cricket. In 1990, there was a match in Trinidad, between England and West Indies. On the fifth day, Rain came and washed out one session. But still England was having a ample time to chase the small total. But groundsmen and officials try their best to waste the time. West Indies players were also wasting the time. We have bowled only seven overs in one hour, which is very embarrassing. Great West Indies players were wasting the time, so that England could not chase the small total on fifth day. I think this things should never be done in cricket. Lara struck 277 runs against Australia in Sydney, his maiden test century. Lara was the second player after Sir Don Bradman, to score two triple century in test. Lara also holds the record for the highest individual score in a test innings of 400 not out against England at Antigua in 2004. He was the all-time leading run scorer in test cricket from November 26, 2005 until surpassed by Sachin Tendulkar on October 17, 2008. He was the fastest batsman to score 10,000 and 11,000 test runs, in terms of number of innings. Lara holds the record of most runs in a single over in test match. He scored 28 runs against left-arm spinner Robin Peterson of South Africa. In 1995, he was chosen as Wisden Cricketers of the Year. Lara was inducted into ICC Hall of Fame in January 2012.